don't know about you but I can't believe it's end of March already <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. Two weeks I was ill yet again. For the same thing that I was ill for in February, thankfully I think the doctors have figured out what's wrong with me and have given me the appropriate medication. So hopefully April won't be such a wipeout. Anyway, me not being able to create art means me get busy shopping <laughs> art material. So here is my March art haul video. First off are two watercolour books, both by Carlin Hellman. You've probably heard me talk about Carlin Hellman lots on this channel. I really like her. Throw some paints on, see what happens, see what the painting wants to become rather than trying to tightly control the result. And these two books are a accompaniment to her courses online. I would say these books are slightly dated in that this was published in 2007, this was in 2010, so 11 years ago and 8 years ago. However, her techniques are very, very, very interesting. And yes i have watched the course but she covers different things in here and she has guest artists talking about how they approach watercolor as well so it's actually been a very interesting read now if you want to learn a lot about unconventional techniques and approaches to watercolor this is a very very good book for that and the same with the watercolor of the, the spirits of spontaneity in that you know it's it's completely different approach and she goes she covers how to use the gores that i keep raving about it's just so much fun and uh and one day i would love to be able to create something like this which is why I bought this book in particular. They're both very good books. I'm really glad I bought them both. And I highly recommend them if you are looking for something different, something that's more open to chance, something that's looser, then these two books are pretty great for that. Uh, next up are a couple of set of tools. Now, because I'm into spontaneity and, and making marks and trying to figure out what to do after making the marks, I got interested in different kind of make, mark making tools. Now, you can get a set of dotting tools in the art section of shops and they can be quite expensive, relatively speaking. However, if you go to the clay modeling section of a, uh, our store or Amazon or anything you can get like a whole set of tools for pretty much the same price and I'm really interested in using these particularly with masking fluid I have no idea how they're going to turn out but I'm really interested in using these bigger bowls to see if they create a bigger more unique marks and these silicon ones are a bonus I didn't need them but they're a bonus and you know we pay a lot of money for like one or two of these silicon shapers for using with masking fluid so I think this is a great deal so if you're particularly into making circles with your paints or into masking fluids and want to make different marks then I highly recommend this kit. I will leave a link down below for the Amazon UK page that I got this set from. Other set I got are these really cheap makeup brushes and I just want to play with them and see if they're any good for my way of using watercolor. Now, obviously, if you're into the more illustrated, more fine and controlled painting, these brushes will be a nightmare for you guys. But because I have a looser style, the quality of the brushes don't really matter that much to me. So I'm just interested to see how makeup brushes would work with my way of using watercolor paint. So April, you may see experimental videos 
of me trying out these tools and seeing how they work out with my style of watercolor painting. Next up are some M. Graham paints. If you saw Denise's ranking of favorite brands of watercolor that she likes, she this was her second favorite brand after Daniel Smith and I was making a comment about how we can't get M. Graham's in the UK and then someone actually let everyone know that you can actually get these in the UK so I will leave a link down below for that web page where you can get M. Graham for surprisingly good price they are cheaper than Daniel Smith in the UK they are kind almost comparable to Winsor Newton prices and they have a much better color payoff and they were doing if you buy six or more tubes you get 20% off so they were a really good deal I got myself a Hansi yellow a Nico Azo yellow Nico Quinacridone gold Quinacridone rust Quinacridone rose ultramarine pink ultramarine violet deep and th anthraquinone blue cerulean blue deep turquoise and azo green and as you can see they've been assimilated into my collection these as you know these clips are for hanging on my paint boards and i would say they are a perfect replacement for winsor newton paints because they're the same price point and way better paints for me however they're not as good as daniel smith's so i don't know if i'll be buying more of them but i'm really glad i've bought these because it means i can get winsor newton out of my collection because i'm really not keen on them you can see that i've been painting with them so you, it's got paint splashes now these are made with honey like sennelier and i have heard that they can be a bit of a pain if you put it into a palette and then want to move the colors around your palette which i do do really frequently so I haven't palleted these, I've just been using them fresh from the tube as they are, as I need them. Which is why they get covered in paints because I have them right where I paint. I would say they're just a fraction not as bright as the Daniel Smith. And I did paint two very comparable paintings one using just the M. Grahams, one using just the Daniel Smiths on the same day, same colours and I have to say that there's something slightly missing in the M. Graham painting whereas the Daniel Smiths one is like ta-da and you know quite jazzy in a lot of ways and so these won't become a replacement for Daniel Smiths, but they will be a good replacement for any Winsor Newton colors that I need to get. Next up is the Prisma Color Erase Pencil in the PhotoSafe Blue. I bought this after watching a tutorial by John Moss about doing more live sketching, and he recommends using this to sketch out the big shapes and the gestures first. I haven't given it a go yet as you can see and I kind of had to buy 12 of them so I'm not quite sure if I'll ever go through all of them but it'll be really interesting because I'm I'm not that keen on drawing and if any tool is gonna make it easier for me to be loose in my sketches I am willing to give it a go so I will let you know how this goes on to more technical side of things I have now bought myself a webcam so that I can start live streaming at some point. However, because I'm still suffering from this asthmatic cough, I will have to wait till that gets better before I can start streaming live so that, because the last thing I want is to become famous for dying of coughing on live stream and I'm sure that won't be a pleasant experience for you guys either. But the camera is ready, I have the equipment. Once I'm sure that I won't be coughing on air live, then I'll start doing some live streams. On to some art buying, and I have bought my first original artwork from another artist. You've probably seen this from Eve Bolt's Animal Artist Collective video for the month of March. I saw it in her video and it was so adorable. That I had to buy it and I'm so glad I did. The colours are really beautiful. 
and I just love the humor of the of tiger shark being a tiger shark and <laughs> I'm not even really a punny person but I just really like this one. I am also a patron for Eve and she sent out these monthly prints and I got that and with it she sent me this most adorable gorgeous get well soon card I have ever seen. This is my hamster Jazz being a nurse and looking after me and giving me cough medicines and it just lit up my day because I actually cracked my rib just before I got this and I was in so much pain then I got this and it really cheered me up so thank you so so much for this I I I I have to confess I cried a little bit because I was so like grateful that she would take her time to do this and the detail in this is amazing most and particularly because I'm not a detailed painter I'm not an illustrator and I'm certainly not a good as good painter as she is and the details she puts in it are just so cute and I love the fact that it's jazz and I think she got her pretty accurate actually considering there's only very few photos and videos of jazz out there so far I think she got her likeness really really well so thank you so much for this and then I have a couple of swaps I've done this month. One was from a viewer called Fruk, and like I'm not gonna put this on because on camera for too long because it is a letter from her to me. But can I just like show you how beautiful her handwriting is? Look, look. Is that not like the most stunningly beautiful handwriting ever? So, and so what we did was that she'd send me some dot cards of old Holland paints because I'm not trying them and she, I will send her a, and I will send her some Holbein dot cards. And this is what I received, beautiful dot cards. On two sheets. And then she also sent me this beautiful beautiful handmade paper for watercolor i have never used a handmade watercolor paper before so i am very much looking forward to trying them out thank you so much Fruk, for your generous swap and i hope you enjoyed the dot card i sent you another swap i did was with dan from penholder uk i got some m graham paints He's on a shopping band, so he can't buy them. So I sent him some samples of the M. Grahams and he sent me dot cards of various brands. And then he very, very kindly and very unexpectedly sent me his handmade paints. And oh my goodness, if you've ever been disappointed about ultramarine, you need to try Dan's ultramarine blue. It re-wets so fast and is the most intense blue in the whole wide world. And he also sent me the manganese blue and this manganese blue is the most insanely granulating paint I have ever seen. It is absolutely beautiful. And these, and these are the swatches for them. You see this? This thing granulates even on like a normal hot press paper. So if you're looking for a heavily granulating manganese blue hue, which I kind of was. I highly recommend this one. And if you're looking for an insanely intense ultramarine blue that's very easy to rewet, then I recommend his ultramarine blue as well. I will leave a link down below for his Etsy shop. I he also very kindly sent me these very generous dog cards. Thank you so much for them. And I will be having fun. swatching them and playing around with them. So thank you very much for that, Dan. That's it for art supplies. However, we've been quite busy with buying things for jazz. And since I mentioned jazz in my last haul video, I thought this would be a great place to mention it again. We actually bought her a new cage. The first cage we bought her was the standard RSPCA recommended size, which is 80 by 50 centimeters 
but we noticed that it was a bit too small for her so we actually upgraded her to a 1 meter by 55 centimeter cage with enough height so that she can have a couple of different levels as well and she seems so much happier with her new cage. I can't tame her at the moment because I have this cough so if you have any kind of infections or likely to have them you have to stay away from your hamster which is really sad but my husband's doing a fantastic job of taming her and she climbs all over him now and she is growing into quite a hamster it's my first time of having a girl hamster i've always had boy hamsters and my goodness there is a big difference between a boy hamster and a girl hamster the girls are far more energetic and curious and they will get into all sorts of trouble but she is such a lovely hammy that we are really really enjoying having her and if it's all right with you guys, I, w I think I will keep a regular update of Jazz and how she's doing at the end of the whole videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.